Here is one of my famous 360 degrees walk around the car. This time, a brand new, uh, new, new Beetle, and we are going to see most of the details of this car. So, let's start with the engine compartment bay, very compact. This is the 2.5 cylinder version, as you see, not a lot of room that has been unused. Uh, very handy uh, to check the levels here, refill the oil. Everything has been studied to be compact and have a good maintenance. The car is fairly nice in white, kind of classy, you know, with the aluminum rims. Now we are going to look inside the trunk. Let me grab the trunk. Okay. So there is a little bit of a challenge. Here we go. You need almost always the key. So, spacious as you can see, the rear seats are folding half and half. And uh, you get some uh, good uh, space inside the car. A little bit of view inside the car itself, uh, where the passenger and driver are going to sit. Now let's go inside the car. I'm going to shut that down for noise purposes. And then I'm going to invite you inside the car. Okay, so I'm going to sit nicely in the car and we are going to see what are the different accessories that are available. You might have heard that when I shut the door, the windows is going up so that it's airtight and noise tight as you are driving. The car starts immediately. All the key functions are available on the dash, like the RPM, the speedometer, the gas tank. I find that very, very easy to read. Not too much information, just what you need. Here, a very simple command for the lights. Okay. And then on the side, you have uh, for the, the mirror, left and right, and it's a heated one, as you can see here, uh, with the, the icon. The command for uh, opening and closing the windows are here, again, very handy. And then on the central dash, uh, the radio, conventional radio, nothing special. Uh, and then the climate control function that are here. It's an automatic transmission, so I'm going to put it in drive. And if I want, I can activate the manual function by pushing the lever and activating the plus minus as I desire. It's roomy in the back, you know good enough for two, uh, I would say, either short adults or uh, kids, teenagers, to sit in a comfortable manner in the back. And as you can see with the lever in the middle, uh, you can again fold the rear seat in case you have more bulky stuff uh, to transport in your car. So, overall, you are getting all the Beetle experience in the modern version. The car from the outside. So that you get a good souvenir of it. And here is the radio functioning. Extra notice that the conclave is coming up. 
They're already FM, will be thinking, of course. Uh, AM. Well, media, which whatever. is, it seems and that it's said, a CD. Uh, they showed a picture of him, showed his stats, and then said, Tim Duncan. Like, what? what? Oh, on, no. So let me show you some additional command. Here you have all the I-beam function, the turn signal, as well as some of the cruise control. And then on the right side, I have the second command for the wiper, uh, the, the pressure water uh, to clean the windshield, and the different cadence for the, the wiping system. You see the information on the right side, the D. D means that it's on drive. And now I'm going to move to manual. So you see it's a six speed. And then I can lower as I'm shifting down, five, four. And of course, you know, the engine is going to drive a little bit more. So three, a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to slow down a little bit and get in second. And then I can accelerate, and then third, and then fourth. So it gives you the, the speed, the gear number in which you are. A very powerful engine, by the way. And now there is one thing which is missing in this car. There is not the little pot for the cut flower that was really a nice touch in the previous car. Now I'm going to show you a little trick to open the trunk. It's easy but hidden. You flip the logo and then you just pull it. And then just push it back. Here we go.